Good morning guys, or good afternoon. Uh, today we're going to start with um, a new topic. So you're still going to be working on density with Mr. Link, but uh, on the other days, instead of doing the virtual labs, we're going to take a break from those. Um, we're going to work through this weather and water notebook. So some new topics for us to cover. <clears throat> so what we're going to be hoping to answer is what factors impact weather and the movement of water through our atmosphere. Okay, so you can see the picture, probably something you're a little bit familiar with. The idea of rain and snow, water flowing down to the sea, evaporating, creating clouds, moving the clouds, sun heating the water. Okay, so some different things like that that might look familiar that we'll be talking about. All right, so the first part, which we're gonna do today, um, is this read it. <clears throat> so there's two different information cards or information reading passages. Um, you're gonna read through those and look at the photo that goes along with it. So you're going to read and look at the photo. And then on the following chart, which I'll show you in a minute, there's two charts actually. On one side, you're going to write three facts that you get from the information cards. And then on the other one, you're going to write vocabulary. Okay, and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, all right. So these are the two readings that you're going to do. So the first one is about weather. So you're gonna read through the passage, make note of the picture, and as you read through, maybe highlight some um, words that are new to you, um, some key ideas that you think are important as far as describing weather. Then the next page is about climate. So again, you're gonna read through, look at the picture, um, highlight some words, some new vocabulary to you, um, underline some key phrases. And then on this page, okay, one side is going to be key ideas, and one page is going to be vocabulary, okay? So you're going to write three important pieces of information about weather, and you're gonna write three important pieces of information about climate. Then you're going to write three important vocabulary words from the reading about weather and three important vocabulary words about climate. Okay, once you write the word, I want you to write next to it what that word means to you. Okay, maybe you want to look it up. Maybe just from context you can tell what it means. Um, maybe you've heard the word before and you have a best guess. Okay, and then after you're done all of this about reading about weather and climate, then I have a quizzes that I posted for you to complete for your homework. Okay, so to recap, you're reading the two passages, one about weather, <clears throat> one about climate. You're going to write three key ideas about weather, three key ideas about climate, three vocabulary words related to weather, and three vocabulary words related to climate. And then you're going to go ahead and do your homework, which is a quizzes about this general idea of weather and climate. Do your best work. These notebooks, like our other notebooks in the past, are going to be collected. I'm going to check all of them and grade them. So make sure you do your best work. This is our new topic that we're, we're covering, and I want to make sure that you guys are doing your best work and understanding the concepts. Okay? If you have any questions, email me.